My name is uh, Lucy Upen, Comrade Lucy Upen. What you are saying here is the Congress of all the union in aviation coming out to protest against a bill that is before the president right now as we speak, Aviation Act, that it was for amendment. And it, there is a clause that was introduced in that bill which prohibits the union activities all the instruments that the union are supposed to use, such as protests, you know, rally, picketing, will be prohibited. What is happening here is also happening in all the airports nationwide to resist this bill. To tell Mr. President that the bill before him has a clause that prohibits us taking away our rights and we will not take it. My name is Comrade Dauda Nambor. I am the FCT chairman of the National Union of Air Transport Employees, Nuate. Our struggle is all about an illegal clause that has been inserted into the aviation bill. And this clause is aimed at classifying aviation workers as essential workers, with the implication that aviation workers will not be allowed to carry out protests, they will not be allowed to carry out picketing, they will not be allowed to carry out strikes and lock out whenever they are aggrieved of anything that pertains their welfare. As such, as a union, we feel this is an infringement of our rights, this is an infringement of our labor laws, and also an infringement of our ILO convention. This is why we have come out today to stage a peaceful demonstration to tell the government that we have the right to protest at any moment that we are aggrieved. We have the right to go on strike if our demands that are put on the table are not met after collective bargaining with management and the government. This is why we are here on the street. And as a matter of fact, we have just done a peaceful demonstration. We will be giving the government two weeks which we expect that our demands are met. We want to tell Mr. President that he should not assent to that bill because that bill has been infiltrated with an illegal clause that is against aviation workers. That was not the original copy that was presented during the public hearing. And this is our message to Mr. President. So what is happening today here is happening in other airports in the Federation. You know we don't carry guns. You know we don't carry weapons, but we have a strength. That's why I have to take the first stanza of our anthem in our hands. Place the power greater than their holy good, greater than army magnifies a thousand foot. Meanwhile, we don't carry guns, but we have a strength in the unity and our numbers.